Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and thrifting content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because that is what we are focused on over here. Okay, today's video is going to be another sit down thrift with me haul. Over the last couple of weekends, I have gathered some things. My mom has found some things. I finally have everything together in one big pile, so I want to sit down with you and go through all of the goodies. So let's go ahead and get right on into the haul. Okay, starting off, we have this really pretty brass candle snuffer. Super simple. It has a really pretty like ribbed detail on the handle here with like the little knob, the little nub. <laughs> Anyways, so it's a really pretty candle snuffer. I think my mom found it at a garage sale for maybe a dollar, probably less. Uh, it was one of those things where she got several items and they just gave her like a big bundle price. So I'm going to say this was probably like at max a dollar. This will be going up for sale in my Etsy store. If you guys are new here, then you don't know, but I do have a Etsy shop. Here are some of the things that you can find there. And then a link to my Etsy store will be down in the description. What I also put in the description box is if you purchase anything from my Etsy store and you're coming from YouTube, you will find a little discount code down in the description. So if you're interested, make sure you use the code. Sticking with the vintage brass, we have a little menorah. I think this is so, so pretty. It's got a ton of really pretty details around the base. It's just gorgeous. It's stamped on the bottom. Solid brass is beautiful. Again, my mom found this at the garage sale. It was in the little bundle deal with the candle snuffer, so maybe a dollar. Not quite sure. But again, you will find this in my Etsy store if you're interested. I guess we're just going to continue on with the brass theme here. So I do have a couple of frames. The first frame that we have here, make sure I don't drop anything, is this adorable little frame. I'm a sucker for anything with this little hook right here. If I see it in the store, I'm running to it because I just want to see what it looks like. And this was absolutely adorable. Little vintage, the bottom like just slides out like that. Super cute. Got it at Goodwill for $2. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these frames that I'm going to show you sell one, sell both. I'm not sure, but they're both stunning. Okay. The next one is this larger one. I think that's five by seven. This is eight by 10 and it's gorgeous. I love the detailing. Of course, it's kind of got like that, you know, that, you know, detail. It's just really pretty. Again, $1.99. Insane from Goodwill. And of course we're sticking with the running brass theme. We have this adorable little brass and glass, brass and glass, Brass and glass shelf. Super cute. I've seen these all over Pinterest, all over Instagram on like the home interior, you know, inspiration um, pages. It's gorgeous. So when my mom found one for six bucks, I was going to try my hand at reselling it. You style it up really cute and uh, we'll give it a go. Super, super pretty. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you stick around to the end, I do put in like a montage of all of the items that I found closer up. I know it can be hard to see during the actual haul portion, like now. If you stick around to the end, you will see some closer up footage of all the items and I won't be rambling throughout. So just wanted to throw that out there. If you wait to the end, you will see everything up close. Next up, we have another candle wall sconce. This is a Sirocco Home Co. Home Co. Just like resin, gold, wall sconce. I sold one of these actually not too long ago. Uh, for a pretty good profit. So my mom found this at a thrift store. This was $4. This was $4. So it will be going up in my Etsy store, but these are just so pretty. I love these. I have yet to find a pair of them. I, I always find them as single, as a singular item. So I'm holding out for the day I find a pair and then maybe just maybe I will keep them for myself. But this one will be going up for resale. Moving on to some pieces that are for me, probably. Uh, is this little planter right here. It's got like ladies dancing. It's very Victorian, just very old world feeling. It's very Renaissance and I just love it. It was $1.99. If I don't keep it, I don't know. The vision in my head was that I was going to do just like a little floral arrangement and try to sell it. I don't know. I just, I thought it was really pretty and something in me told me to get it, especially at only $2 from Goodwill. I was like, yeah, get it. It's really pretty. I don't know. We'll see. But I did grab this and I just am going to stop rambling now. 
Okay, this piece I'm super excited for. I think it's absolutely adorable and my use for it is kind of silly, but I found this crystal, like almost little pedestal bowl. It was $3.99 and half off, so it was $2, which is amazing. And I'm going to use this for my dog's food. I know, hear me out. When we first moved into this house, I forgot my dog's bowls at my mom's house. So I was like, okay, well, obviously I have to feed my dog and give her water. So I just grabbed whatever bowls I had around. I had a really pretty Pyrex bowl and a mixing bowl. So those are her bowls that I've been using for the last almost month. And I love the look of them. I think they're so much prettier than just like a standard dog bowl. So I was like, okay, when I'm thrifting, I want to find her some really pretty glass or crystal bowls so she can eat out of them and just be the angel that she is. So this is her new food bowl. I'm so extra, I know. Okay, we were just on a brass kick. Now we're going to be on a crystal kick. That was a little pedestal dog food bowl. Now we have this stunning, absolutely stunning cut crystal canister. I have no idea where I'm going to use this, but I felt like for $10, I couldn't leave it behind. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like the details when you see it up close are insane. And it's in perfect condition. It has its original sticker. It says something, Shannon Crystal, Designs of Ireland, handcrafted in Slovakia. That's pretty cool. It was 10 bucks. And I thought that was a really good deal for the quality and just the absolute stunning, stunningness. I thought it was a great deal for 10 bucks and I feel like I can use it for something. So I couldn't leave it behind. You know how that goes. Okay, we're back on things for resale. I just found this really pretty, hold it over here so you can see it, can, uh, stone candle holder. It's probably some sort of onyx or marble, not quite sure, but it was $2 and I think it's so, so cute. These do really well, so I figured, you know, just grab it. Just grab it, why not? If you have not seen my one of my thrift with me videos, I did do a running I did do a running thrift list of things that I want to keep an eye out for whenever I'm thrifting that I need specifically for our new home. One of the things I put on there were pasta bowls. I prefer eating out of a pasta bowl. I just love an open shallow bowl. I don't know, I just like it. So I found some. I found two. That's all we really need. Um yeah, these are from Target. $2 a piece. I was like, that's perfect. They're nice and shallow. I like the shape. They will kind of match with the plates that we have, but if they don't match, it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, four bucks. And I got some pasta bowls and I got to scratch another item off of my thrift list. We love that. Okay. This next piece is kind of a gamble. I um, invested more money in it than I would have liked, but something about it something about it. I was like, I think I will definitely get my return on the investment. It's a solid piece. It's solid silver, I would imagine. And I don't know, just something about it. So let me just shut up and show you. Is this really cool, maybe like soap dish, candy dish, something really, really, really pretty with these like fish on it. And it's heavy, like it's solid. And then this seashell dish part, I think it's precious. I have no use for it. So this will definitely be a resale piece. It was $15, which I never pay that much unless it's a piece of furniture to resell. So who knows? Maybe it'll be a flop, but something in my gut is telling me like I just need to do the research and wait for the right person that's looking for something like this and I will see a pretty good profit. So I found this. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. So stick around. We'll see if I sell it anytime soon and I will, I'll do an updated reel on this piece because why not? Everything is content. Actually, another thing to cross off of the running thrift list is some baskets for my closet. These are just wo ooh, woven um, Ikea baskets. They're supposed to go in like their Calex system, you know, the big square things. My mom found three of them at a garage sale for five bucks. I was like, oh yeah, those would be perfect. You know, put toilet paper, paper towels, whatever, and just put them in the closet. That way it looks aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so I have three of these and can check another thing off that thrift list. We love it. We love it. Okay. 
The last two items are accessory pieces, I guess you could say. So they are for me and I'm elated. I'm elated with these finds. I have a vision. It was an immediate, like I gravitated towards it in goodwill and I was like, ooh, I see it in my head. And when that happens, I know I have to have it. So the first thing that I grabbed is this adorable, like velvet crossbody purse. This red is absolutely stunning. The clasp, gold, stunning. The inside, pretty much perfect. Clean, it's not crusty, not dusty. It's got someone's Porto's Bakery from Burbank, California. Okay. My vision is to take off these straps because I think they're ugly and buy a really pretty chain strap on Amazon somewhere or something, just something different than this. But I absolutely love, I love this bag. I love it. I think it's gorgeous and it made me really excited then. It's making me really excited now. $10 well spent. Okay, guys, when I tell you that this next thing was like, my heart was like racing and I was so excited. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I have been thinking in the back of my head like some new wardrobe pieces that I wanted. And I follow this one girl on Instagram and I think her style, it's very unique to her. But there are certain pieces that she wears and I'm like, I want something like that. And she wears these boots. They're these witchy looking blue, bloops, boots, black, lace up, like laces from the toes all the way up to the top of the boot. They're like mid shin, almost like knee length. And I'm like, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I want something like that. And guys, oh, did Goodwill come through? Okay. Okay. Look at these laces almost all the way to the toe. Not quite, but almost. So like we can get there. And the stitching like here on the side, <gasps> I almost passed out. I almost passed out. They're absolutely stunning. They're like brand spanking new too. Look at this. Brand new. No crusty toe fungus in here. Okay. And I tried them on and they fit. They're a little tight. They're a little tight in the toe area, but like whatever. I don't care. Like I'm going to make it work. Like stunning. I have no words. I'm so excited about them. I immediately could see them with like seven different outfits. And I was like, absolutely. They were 20 bucks. And for me, that's a lot to spend in a thrift store, but I'm going to get my $20 worth out of these boots. They're, they're stunning. They're gorgeous. <sighs> it's happening. Like I'm manifesting all of the things and it's just happening. So exciting. It's so, if you know that feeling, let me know down below when like you find something that you just like really want. Let me know if you know that feeling down below. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I found some really awesome pieces. I'm super, super thrilled with this haul. And if y'all couldn't tell, I'm literally obsessed with those boots. If you guys are not following me over on Instagram, go ahead and follow me here. I am putting together more outfits in 2024 and documenting that little part of my journey over there. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I style the boots and the outfit I come up with, outfits I come up with, go ahead and follow me over there. Okay, I'm done rambling onto my outro spiel. If you guys liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. It's so, it's such a small gesture, but you guys, it helps channels in a really big way. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed the video, what you could also do is subscribe if you are not already. 
and that's going to be it for me today. So I will see you guys in the next one.